Welcome back everyone. Uh, we have some new cool cats. Uh, four new cool cats. Um, I thought that line was a fusion. I was going to be like, oh no, a limited fusion. But no, it's okay. It is an epic. I think we'll actually come back to that one last. I want to look at the other cards first. Uh, first up, Rusted, Rusty Spotted Cat. This is adorable. Um, and it's a 217. That's not even that bad. Um, you can actually put this in for some niche play alongside... Uh, the saber tooth, whatever it is, um, Smilodon, uh, makes it a 247, which is nice, um, and as I have said previously, you kind of want your cards to hit the 40 mark to be impactful, um, anything less than that is not overly good, in that case you're playing a card for its effect, um, but if you can put this as a 247, that's fine, um, Eurasian Lynx, a 322. Oh, is it good? I don't think that's good. 324, it's a little under, but you would want, um, again, you can put this to a 352 with, um, your Smilodon. That's getting a bit expensive at that point because you're paying 10 for the two cards. Um, Smatron Tiger. If you're losing the round when you draw this card, gain three energy. Um, I'm sure that, the, like, it's a little better. So it's for 538. It's on par, but it's not going to see play. It needs to do more. Um, a lot more. This is still probably the best of the cool cats, except for maybe the adorable one. Okay. Play this along Sunshine to give it 40 power. It's a 433. So it's a little above CWE. What the hell is... Like... Sorry, I haven't really kept up to date with what Sunshine does. I know it does nothing. It's just what's its stats like. Hmm... I don't know if that's worth the additional 40. So what do we got? Let's bring up the calculator. We got... Um, Sunshine does 41 plus 40 for the boost. Um, also, it seems really weird that the lion boosts Sunshine. Um... Uh, everything like touches, that's kind of cool, I guess. Plus 33. And Sunshine was a 6, what it would say, divided by 10. <laughs> Lol. Um, either way, so it was 114 divided by 10. Um, 11.4 isn't too good. It's nothing special. Um, unfortunately, that just doesn't do enough for what we need. Uh, it's first thing in the morning I'm doing this. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. Um, but that's one thing there. Next up, we do have a new card as well that I haven't looked at yet. Um, I have looked at it. It's pretty good. Um, this is a well-designed card. Um, it's if you're losing when it goes back into the deck. So it's got good stats, like it's a good stat line. Uh, and then sometimes it's amazing. Like if you're unfortunate enough to be losing the round, this card is brilliant. It's a 0 52. However, you won't always be losing the round. Um, I don't see the point of making this a legendary when you're paying for it. It's no rarer than the rares that have been from these same you know, single day, hundred dollar packs. Um, so, at least, uh, I don't know. It just, being a legendary seems a bit redundant in that case. Um, but we get a new fusion, what, tomorrow? Uh, 39 hours till a new fusion. I'm going to buy a couple of Cool Cats packs. Um, I don't really see much need for them. just want to see what we get. Oh, we'll just skip. There's no point watching them. Um, I'm just going to keep doing it until I get one cat. 
Let's see what cat I get. Oh wow, well, Charakel. No, I want a new cat. Give me a new cat. A Titanic's not bad. Too bad it got nerfed. Nah, he needed the nerf. It was kind of insane. Right, I've dropped below 5k, 50k now, and I still haven't got anything. Um, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, those are new cards, new cats that unfortunately just aren't that good. Um, the cats, so actually this new guy, um, Eula, is exactly what we should be doing with the cats. They've got a really hard condition to meet. This condition's a little easier to meet. And the effect is be still better than any of the cat cards. If you make the cat cards have an effect this good, where you've got a free 52. Um, so in the case of, I think it was the tiger. If this became a free 38, so you gain 5 energy when losing the round when you draw it. It would still see no play. Um, so maybe make it give six energy so you're netting again um in that case maybe it would see play it's still super niche just because it's very unreliable with that effect um you can't determine when you go to draw it so what do you do try and be losing all the time in case you do it's very hard to trigger therefore it should be very good when you can um same with this. Uh, this should boost more than 10 power. Uh, give them all fucking... Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Sorry. I do revoke that word if I can. Uh, give them all, like, 40 when you, <laughs> you draw it while losing. Just watch that maybe see play. Um, and then there's the, the other one that was give it one engine to three drop and put that to four or five and... You know, it'll pro possibly see play. We don't know. The We don't know at what point players will play a card that won't always trigger because it has a really good effect when it does. Um, and for those cards, it is very hard to trigger them. you just got to balance that. Um, but, you know, Cool Cats do have some potential there if they're just so outrageously strong that it's worth the, f the risk of them failing just for the hope that they'll win um now yeah, that's a little added on treat i'm gonna run run through a game of what i think is the new matter it seems to be really strong um i don't have the t-rex because naf to pay for that um i might trade for it at some point but i don't know if anyone's giving it up um oh jesus christ that's a hand Oh man, does that, oh it doesn't affect it, okay. This guy is a journeyman, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, get that Veil Nebula down as fast as you can. So this is going to give me 10 energy per turn for the rest of the game. Which is just not fair. Um, why... Oh no, that's right, he buzzed. Yeah, right. I am ready for this. 1075 for the sun. What, you don't want to play against my one card? <laughs> that's fine, man, I'm just building up energy. I don't really care what you're doing. Um... Oh, there's the pickup. That's fine. Probably no cappy. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> That's fine, my dude. So we're not be generating enough energy per turn that none of that will bother me. I should have played my Jupiter by now. Just everything else I wanted to play has been better. Alright, so he's playing three cards. So I'm quite happy to play this. Um, 
yes, all my cards lose 30 or 20 or whatever, but so do his. Um, and this is just really good stats. Paid a lot more for that turn than I did. It's good. I want them to. I don't know if I should be playing that. Very well. <coughs> um, why though? That hits me hard. Oh. <laughs> was very close. I was extremely well. Oh, that's a really fortunate draw here. Um, I'm probably not even going to get the Chameleon effect off. That's right. Bring my energy down, my friend. It's, at this point, it's just very one-sided. Unfortunately, at this point, I'm not going to be losing to play the Chameleon. The Dura is just amazing. The card is a little unfair in my opinion, but that's okay. Uh, we don't need this anymore, we're not going to get the value out of it because we're just not going to play for that much longer. We're going to play the Jackson Chameleon for 30, but luckily it's only a 4 drop, so that's kind of on par. That's, yeah, that's a couple of that effects. It's just, it feels like this deck is just too strong for uh, It gives enough energy to play everything. But unfortunately it doesn't. Yeah, I've got really good challenges up right now. Like, that's great. Uh, just when you play energy. Um, like, it has the strongest cards of the game, such as Therese, Veil, Apollo. Um... Albatross, but it has no issue paying for them, which is what makes it so strong, is it can pay for them. Yes, my first few turns were a little slow, but I still won that round. Um, that being said, my opponent didn't have fusion or anything like that, so I should have won that with any deck I could use. I deleted all my other decks once I just never just like how that side of the This Seeker. Oh, happy feet. I don't know him, but he's decent at this game. He must also, I think, yeah, he's also got a golden retriever in his hand. Um, Tidal energy. It's a really good open, my dude. Jesus Christ. Is it nice too? What was that? 132 for what? 40. No, that's not worth it. That's awful. Um, this is where this comes insane. Like, even with that hit, I still did a 200 turn. <laughs> if you ever played anything else with that, I would be in trouble. <laughs> that card's crazy. There's just a lot of stats on one single card. Mm, I don't really need the wind power there. I had 65 though. That makes no sense.
I don't know why I'm rearranging the order. They shuffle randomly now, um, which kind of makes that redundant. So I got the Thorise, so I can realistically face anything he's going to do. Like, that's a dig 40. What, what does he do to a dig 40 here? Possibly just play no cards. for the rest of the game I mean it's nothing special because it's like the fact that there's only two turns left for the game ooh that hurts not enough though if you had played a third card though that would have been devastating Oh, it's almost pure retro here. Oh no, Eula. He propped the Eula. Heavy feats. Um, big money bags. I kind of want to be losing here now. That's okay. I think it's turn. <coughs> uh, so I'm going to need 90 off his turn. Which is insane. Like that's devastating. That Thorise just was at a hundred sixty something. Card is, as I said, unfair. <laughs> 